so extreme and so aggressive and his moods were so hard to handle that we didn't know what to do. I mean, I called Tuesday's child from inside the bathroom where I was hiding with the door locked with my daughter because my son was having such a horrible tantrum outside. And I called and got Justin enrolled in the program and started using the techniques that, you know, they showed here. And I, I think the most immediate impact that I saw was Justin loved the classroom at Tuesday's Child. He wanted to come. He looked forward to coming. And he didn't look forward to doing very much. Uh, we came in two weeks before he started um, second year in preschool. Uh, we were almost at the last, you know, first year of school was horrible. Mm -hmm. um, he, I couldn't take him to school. I had to drag him into school. Um, but the same thing, tantrums, hitting, the biting. Um, he got kicked out from daycare. Um, so finally we brought him here. Um, but I was already in the process of getting him diagnosed with autism. And now it's like a year later, a year and a half later, it's like I have a completely new kid. Yeah. Same personality. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting that you mentioned too that you were in the process of getting diagnosed. To me, that was one of the biggest values that Tuesday's Child and all of the team experts that they had here made helped me so much because with Justin and as with Jacob, there there was more going on than just mm -hmm. you know behavior management. There was something else underlying going on with the child that and I, I, I didn't know where to start and I didn't know what to do and the guidance that the professionals here at Tuesday's Child gave me really helped me find the right doctors, the right therapists, the you know, right to start occupational therapy. I would not necessarily have known. We ended up with a solid diagnosis and a team of providers for Justin that, you know, to this day, uh, we continue to see him continue to help Justin, you know, as, mm -hmm. as he's gotten older, he's too old for to his child now. <laughs> <laughs> what I like here is the, the school setting base. So they help him with the transitions from, you know, this activity is over in a minute, next go to the next activity. Uh, he loves sand, he loves playing with water. But here they help them transition from those activities mm -hmm. for him not to get obsessed with that and that's the only thing he has to do. They help them transition to the next activity, um, basically just like a school setting, just differently, and, and I think that's what helped him be able to understand, okay, one minute more, okay, next activity, and he doesn't have that meltdown or the kicking or the screaming, um, and he's and he's nonverbal, so which is wonderful bringing him here and knowing that he he's going to get understand no matter if he doesn't communicate just by signs or by pulling or something, he's communicating somehow. Right. One of the, the most important things that my son experienced in the classroom was hearing the scripts from the teachers. Those were the same scripts that we were learning in the parent room. Mm -hmm. And I mean, to this day, it, my son will say things that he learned in the Tuesday's Child classroom. Uh, they gave me some stuff for him to go to kindergarten already. Um, it's helped them more um, for him to be prepared and in transitions. Um, and also, Tuesday Child helped me with the techniques to be able to use at home every day. Uh, and basically, he's uh, he's just a different little child that I wasn't understanding him completely until I came to Tuesday Child. Especially, he doesn't communicate, so we're now it's like everything's a high five, you know, thumbs up, and he knows he's doing a good job. Um, he knows how to use them. I explained it to actually to his teacher. That's one of the things also that Tuesday Child helps us is to advocate for our kids at school. Mm -hmm. So his teacher knows what techniques to use at school, and that has helped them to go a long way. And especially getting to know, you know, Jacob could complete five activities on his own was wonderful before he couldn't even complete one. <laughs> you know, so it it has helped a lot. Before Justin went into kindergarten, he had spent a lot of time at Tuesday's Child and. I'm grateful that they really focus on the skills that kids need to be successful in school. They focus on transitions and what do you do when you have to wait. And those are those are the things at school that kids who have a hard time keeping themselves regulated or paying attention and that kind of thing, those that, you know, transitions are hard. 
waiting, waiting your turn is hard, and they work really hard on those kind of basic classroom skills here. So they, you know, once they get to school, they've practiced all of those skills so many times that you know they're really set up to to do much better once they're at a regular school. And then, you know, as they progress in school, my son needs services in the school and. Tuesday's Child helped with that too, like they'll um, send their professionals with you to the IEP meetings with the school um, and really make sure that together with the parent they're advocating for the child and getting all the services that the kids need from the school.